Good afternoon, fight fans. My name is Chris with MMA Uncensored, and today we have a very special guest coming off another highlight reel KO, Chaos Williams. Welcome to the show. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the show, champ. Good to see you. Thank you, man. Good to be seen. Good to be seen. You know, when I look at you right now, it looks like you're in like a, a jet getting ready to take off at the airport. You get that uh, little light back there. <laughs> yeah. No, you I just actually back I just got, from, I just, uh, yeah. 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 Actually, I just got off the flight. So uh, we were actually both in Vegas at the same time. I was in Vegas uh, doing a jujitsu tournament, filming it, and you were in Vegas knocking someone out. That's what's up, man. We were both handling business. You handle business on a larger scale. I watched your fight live, man. I was in the studio um, um, with uh, the guys from High Rollers. We, were, we had the TV on. We were doing oh, a little yeah. smoking. And uh, looking at uh, your fight, like, oh, I shit, you did it again. <laughs> had to, man. I had to, man. I know, I know that I heard them judges, man. It was a little too close. When you say you heard the judges, like uh, you overheard the commentators, or you you're, no? You're, I mean, I mean, fine. I heard, I heard like my 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 uh, corner man. It was telling me like you know, like basically just something they say. Basically was just like man, you know, we don't want to leave it to the judges. We know we feel like you winning, but uh, it's it's, it's close. It's a close fight. That's why I was saying like I know like them judges, man. Sometimes the judges they may be leaning towards uh, the other the other corner man. You just never know. So I just had to go out there third round and uh. Just, 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 hey, hey, <laughs> let them know, let them know to put some respect on my name. They sure did. Um, we're going to bring up a little clip here. Um, Courtney, will you bring up that little clip of uh, him knocking out Miguel Beza in the third round, UFC fight night last Saturday night? That's There's the clip the right there. Yeah, there they both, they both good clips though. Unfortunately, we can't use UFC content. They'll flag us. So we have to do the oh, pictures. Yeah, yeah gotcha. we have to be careful. There you go. Hey, the picture, picture said the picture said hundred words too though. A thousand words, million words. A thousand, yeah. They speak. They speak for themselves. There you go. Now, now that last one, the one on Saturday night um, versus Miguel, I think I'm saying it right, Beza, um, in the third round, um, there was a little controversy at the end with with the stoppage, and and from my point of view, and I watched it live. Um, there was there was no controversy on my side. It wasn't no controversy, man. I don't know what they was talking about. I don't know. I don't. I don't know who said that. But like I said in one of my uh, recent interviews, as a fighter, you never want to. You never want to give up. You know, you 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 prepare. You sacrifice so much. You got so many people believing in you. So many people counting on you. You know, you you want to go in there like you got that. Most fighters, well, I speak for myself. You got that killer be killed mentality. But it's people that do get killed, and, you know, it's a fight, and you can live a fight another day. And you got to trust the ref, and you got to trust your coaches and stuff. And he was out. And if you was in there, I got the best seat in the house. I'm in there. The referee got the second best seat in the house. And then everybody else on the outside, they see what they see. And then people at home, they see what they see. And if you was, if you was there, like me being in there, you would see, like, his eyes roll to the back of his head, and he was out. And I and I should have just walked away, but I hopped on him because I didn't want him to recover. Same with uh the referee. He seen the same thing I seen. Same with Dana and everybody that was in the apex. They seen the same thing that the referee seen. And he did his job and he did it correctly. Dude was out. He was totally out. I watched the replay. I zoomed in. He was out. He may have went to go grab the leg or something later, but if you would have hit him, like you said, you could have killed him. Yeah. You just never know, man. Like, you unconscious. Exactly. No controversy over here. None at all. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about a couple things. Um, you started your UFC debut um, 2020. You've had three yep. Performance of the Night awards. That's 50K times three. Mm -hmm. Two KOs under 30 seconds. I'm not sure how many fighters in the UFC history has had two KOs in less than 30 seconds. Maybe two or three. Less than a handful. That's an impressive thing right there. Thank you, man. Yeah, man. Like, <laughs> hey, we different. We build different. And uh, like I, a lot of, hold on. Dang, did I get off the camera? Yeah, it, it'll, it'll come back on here. There you go. Oh, oh, my bad, man. Sorry about that. Got a whole <laughs> bunch of notifications. I'm trying to ignore them right, while I'm on this. But yeah, man, you know, 
all right, they're they going to see, man, we special. You know, I'm diamond in the rough, just better to be buffed off and shown to the world. Now the world get to see me. They get to see that diamond. 170 pound division is on notice. Let's talk about the let's talk about the welterweight rankings. Um, can you bring up bring up the welterweight rankings for me, Courtney? There's the man at the top, Kamaru Usman. You got Colby Covington. You got El Dorino, Gilbert Burns, Leon Edwards, Vicente Luque, Wonder Boy, Chiesa. It's going fast. And then you got my buddy Magni. Kamzat, somehow Kamzat, is that how you say it? Kamzat or Kamzat? I'm not sure. Kamzat. Kamzat. Somehow Kamzat um, jumped from unranked to, I believe, 10th ranked. He's got three UFC wins. You have four UFC wins, I believe. How does that make sense? doesn't make much sense to me. I, checked I mean, the- I guess. I mean, you should be you know, top. I- I- I mean, we are gonna get there. You know, everybody got different paths. You know, God, he got a he got a plan for everybody else. You know, That's right. I got my path. He got his path. Everybody got their own path and their own assignments. And the, the road that I'm walking down may be different than the road somebody else walking down. But mm-hmm. we still walking towards that same goal and that same. Uh, you know, we still walk. We, we we still walking for the same goal, and that's to get that belt one day. So we gonna end up meeting one of these days if that's the case. If not. Who knows? But as far as the ranking goes, I'm gonna get there. Does the does the rankings like in 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 your in your mind as a fighter, you know you know where you should be, you know where you should rank. That paper that doesn't mean nothing to you, right? No, I don't. It don't mean nothing to me, man, because I haven't even reached my full potential yet. I'm still uh, evolving. I'm still elevating. I'm still only getting better. And me as a fighter, I know that, and I know that uh, the 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 fighter that I was three years ago. Ain't the same fighter that I am now. I know that the fighter that I'm gonna be three years from now ain't gonna be the same fighter that I am now. I'm gonna be way better, way more sharp, way more polished, just mentally, just even better. It, I'm gonna just be so much more dangerous. So at the end of the day, I'm gonna get. At the end of the day, man, it, it, it's it's only a matter of time, and timing is everything. And like I said, uh, it's chess, not checkers, man. I ain't in no rush. That's right. You got the highlight K- KO Saturday night. You're going into the holidays, spend some time up there with your families and chill a little bit. Definitely, man. You know, I'll try, I'm going to try not to eat too much. I'm going to try not <laughs> to eat too much, man. I got to stay on my diet a little bit, but definitely, uh, definitely got to eat good, man. It's only right. Only right. Yeah. Mom and grandma's home cooking. Definitely. Mm-hmm. But I'm looking forward to, um, what, what's your plan for the holidays? You going to stay up in Detroit and spend it with family? Or are you going to travel? Man, I don't even know, man. My, 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 uh, my, my, my schedule is so indecisive, but uh, I don't really be celebrating holidays for real, to be honest with you like mm-hmm. that. Uh, I celebrate. I usually be grinding. Like, if I ain't working on properties, if I'm not in the gym, like, I'm usually getting to it. So I don't even really be celebrating holidays like that no more. Yeah. Like, with the fam as well. But I I, I celebrate Thanksgiving. I mean, not Thanksgiving. I celebrate um, um, New Year's, and I celebrate my birthday. You know, I didn't live to see another year, and I feel like that's a celebration. And my birthday. Definitely. Definitely. Um, we're gonna we're gonna have a good time here down in Florida. I'm in Tampa. We're gonna have some family down. I look forward to it. Um we're let's see here. Like that. I wanna talk to you about um yesterday the UFC announced that um because Jorge Masvidal uh was injured, they're gonna they're gonna set up Kamaro Usman versus Leon Edwards too, um March, April of next year. Um how do you see that? How do you see that rematch going? And I, I feel like, man, Usman, I feel like, man, I feel like Usman, he, man, he on his, I can't cuss on here, can I? Yes, you can. You can do anything. No. You can do anything. You can do anything. <laughs> you know? We're friendly. But too. I mean, I feel like, I mean, I mean, respect to the champ. Respect to the champ. You know, I feel, you know, he on his ghost shit right now. And, um, you know, Leon Edwards, he, he definitely a top opponent, good opponent. But I just feel like, uh, like, I feel like Usman, he going to, Continue to uh, he gonna he gonna uh, retain the title though for sure. If he, if he retains the title, um, I was talking to a couple of fighters yesterday. Um, there's really not much left that he hasn't beat. I mean, you, you got a couple guys that are coming up like yourself and Kamzat, um, but I think Wonder Boys would be the only one left for him to to fight. True, like, true. Uh, he's beat everybody. 
True, you know. And, I mean, that's the thing, too, man. You know how this it, – it's not like boxing. It's, you know, with, with MMA, man, it's like styles make matchups. Like, you just never know, man. It's really – it's really crazy, man, how how fighting works in uh in the MMA. But I mean, yeah, he pretty much had fought everybody, man, all the top people though, for sure. For sure, a lot of people say, you know, if, if he if he if he runs a division, move up to um, one eighty five and challenge Izzy. But they're too they're too close of friends to do that. But anyway, I don't know. I think Omar Usman is a is a hell of a champ. Um, I think that he's close to catching up to GSP as far as the welterweight goat rankings. Um, yeah. Talk about Jackson Wink Jim, though. Um, my right. buddy Mike over there is the manager. Um, and I know a lot of the fighters. We do a lot of interviews there. Let's let's talk about Jackson Wink Jim and, and how that's helped you out. For sure. And, hey, and like you were saying, I'm going to get to that real quick, but like you were saying on the Usman and the, uh, and the uh, Izzy fight, yeah, man. Like, yeah. I feel that I feel that too, man. Like, I feel that too, but I don't, man. This how this how I think about that, like, cause like on a regional on a regional scale, like I don't fought people like I was cool with, and then I'm cool with now that I train with now to this day. So I mean, I feel like this, man. For the right amount, I fight my brother. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, shoot, sure. but it's a business. It ain't like it ain't, it ain't like it ain't like it ain't like the wild wild west where we like like we drawing guns about to shoot each other. You yeah. know. If we gonna put on like if it's like me and you, if me and you talking right now, we we mad cool, and yeah. you like well shoot man, they they want us to fight man, I'm the top, you the top, and they want us to fight. I mean if the price right, hey let's make it happen. That's how that's how I think. You know I fight my own brother if the price right. You know we live to fight another day, man. May the best man win, man. That's it. Now now if you fought your brother, would you give him that hundred percent power or would you take like twenty percent off? Shoot, man, I got I got to give him that hundred percent, man. I want him to give me the hundred percent too, and that's the thing. Like you, you don't, you don't want, you don't want to have to do that. I'm just metaphorically yeah. speaking. You know what I mean? Right. I'm just, yeah. I'm just metaphorically speaking. Like, but nah, that, that ain't what you want to do. If yeah. you don't got to do it, you don't want to do it because you know that's some, that's some, that's typically like somebody that you love that you want to see right. win. You don't want to hurt them. What mm -hmm. I mean, like I said, for the right price, man. Let's let's get it popping. You are damn right. I agree with you. Championship fight champions, in my opinion, just like Canelo. Yeah. He's going up. He's going up. He's challenging. He's going to heavier weight yeah. classes. I agree with that. Yeah. So you see, Canelo, he on his go shit too, man. He on his go shit too right now. Yeah. What do you but, think uh, about, as far as what do you think about Canelo? Well, you said what I think about him. Yeah. Overall, as a boxer. Overall, man, I feel like man, Canelo, he's a great champion, and I, I really don't see nobody beating him right now. Like I, I said, he on his go shit. He on his go shit. Yeah. That's right. But um, as far as Jackson Wink, man, you know, I love the people out there. Great coaching. Uh, it's great energy. It's nothing but work. And, uh, you know, that's that's really that's really it, man. It's just uh, keep me focused when I do go out there. When I do go out there, I like it. It's, it's, you, it's, I mean, it's really not it's really not a lot to do in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Right. It's, it's a lot of desert. So when I go out there, it's like I'm in my own little cell and I'm just training. So it's like I'm just in my training cell, you know. I'm in that in that time chamber, just getting focused. That's right. Do you stay up in the barracks, or do you get your own place? How does that work? Yeah, no, I st I stay up there. Yeah, it's yeah, nice up there. Much. Yeah, that's why I say, man, I I, yeah. I stay up there. So it's like they food, they got everything, TV. Yeah. And it's, it it kind of it kind of just bring me back, you know, when mm -hmm. I when I was coming up, give me that hunger, keep keep me grounded. Yeah, you know, I ain't there to I ain't there to be comfortable. I ain't there to be, you know, I'm just there to work. I'm just there to right. work when I'm there. No distractions. So, no distractions. Wake up, I'll eat, get to work, take a nap, hey. do it again. Exactly. That's it. I hear you. That's that's uh, that's one of the biggest things um with Jackson Wing is from I've been working with them a couple of years, man. I mean, they're all business. Um, both both head coaches, and all business. And then, um, and then that's the thing. And then all the coaches, like, and everybody pretty professional. You know, everybody professional. They all about they all about their business. All about work. When it's when it's on, when it's time to be on time, everybody on time. If you late, you know they let you know. Like you know, do what you're doing late. You know, yeah. like they put you on blast. So they uh hold you accountable. That's right. Doesn't matter what your ranking is, right? You're you're you're, right. you're late, late. <laughs> yeah, they gonna hold you accountable, man. So. You know, that's another good thing. Did you did you have an opportunity to train with John Jones before he left? 
Oh, uh, I have. I have before he left. Yep. How was that experience? We won't get into the negative part of John Jones because yeah. just for the record, I'm the biggest John Jones fan in the world. He's my yeah. go. Um, I love John Jones. I don't give a shit what's going on with the outside. Um, I'm just a huge fan of him as a mixed martial artist. So I was just right. curious what you like to train with. Oh, man, just to train with him, though, is, 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 is great. You know, you being in the presence of greatness, man, it just force you to level up. Like, you got – you can't get comfortable. Like, you got more to do. You know, it's like – it's like I've, I've I've been in the gym with Mayweather as well. Like, you know, it's just like when you around these guys, it's like, man, like you really in the gym with these people. Like you like, dang, like I've been mm-hmm. in the gym with Tank, too. Like, and it's just like you see these guys and you see what they doing. Yeah. And even with John, though, like you see these guys, you see what they've done. You see what they're doing. And it's like, man. And then you look at where you at and you like, man, like I've done some great things. But sure, it's like. Hey, it ain't nothing compared. Like I still got a ways to go. Like they didn't put their work in. Now it's time for me to put my work in. You know, ain't no difference. Like all the greats, man. Could it be? It could be Canelo. It could be you know just even Holly. Anybody. Like it's like when you're in the gym with certain people, it's like man, that's what's up. It's just you know I'm just feeding off of their energy as well. You know, and it's just uh, you that's can't get uh, comfortable, man. The little the little bit of stuff you done did, it's nothing. Yeah, you just mentioned Floyd Mayweather. You just mentioned Javante Davis, and you just mentioned John Jones. Those three, wow, impressive. You said tank, right? That's what you're talking about, tank? Yeah, 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 that's what I'm talking about, tank. Yeah. yeah. For the viewers, um, some of my viewers don't watch boxing, but Javante Davis' nickname is Tank. And that book, he's good. He's real good. I always wanted to see him fight uh, Ryan Garcia, but Ryan Garcia kind of slipped away. Man. Somewhere. Yeah, he <laughs> slipped away, man. They don't want him to do that. They don't want to do that. <laughs> they don't want to do that. <laughs> Nah, man. Oh, that- I think, I think, I think, I think, man. Tank, man. Javante Davis, man. Like all respect to all the fighters, man. But me personally, my opinion, I feel like Tank would hurt Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia ain't gonna do nothing, man. He's gonna pop, pop. He gonna hit. What he gonna do? He gonna survive. He gonna look pretty, catch him a little bit. You know, he gonna out. He might outpoint him for a little second with his speed. You know what I'm saying? Jab him, try to stay away, stick him to the body. That's really it. That's the only way I could see him trying to beat Tank. You just keep trying to hit him to the body, cop, right. trying to stay away, stay on the outside, jab him a little bit, counter. But I don't see him stopping him. And I feel like Javante, man, I feel like Tank Tank, Tank got the power to stop him, and he would hurt Ryan Garcia. That's just my opinion. I, I, I'm with you. And, and we've seen Ryan Garcia get knocked down the last fight. Yeah. Uh, real quick, big shout-out to Kill Cliff. They're our sponsors. Uh, clean Energy okay. Drink, Kill Cliff. Um, I wanted to talk about what 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 your plans are. Like, what what are you focused on now besides training? Are you are you saying, hey, I'd like to fight this person, or do you leave it up to your management team? Like, what what do you think? Are you you zoning in on someone? Nah, man, I don't zone in on nobody, man. I just I just focus on me. I just focus on being the best me I can be, and trust my team, my uh, my manager, and stuff like that. And and whatever they come with me with, if it makes sense, let's do it. Gotcha. When are you looking to return to the Octagon? Early next year for sure, man. I would say probably uh, February, March. February. Yeah. February, March. You know, that that that's you just you're saying exactly what I was thinking about. Um, you could be on that undercard with Usman and Leon. You could be on that main card. Hey, hey. Nice. never know. Yeah, I think that's going to be UFC. 271 in February and UFC 272 March and 273 the next month. That'd be great. That yeah, would be, man, because I'm definitely ready to get back in front of the fans. You know, I'm uh, like I said in one of the in the conference, I didn't say it in the big big press conference, but I said it in one of my interviews. Man, I'm just too excited of a fighter not to be in front of the fans. When I'm in front of the fans, it's like like some people. It's like this, man. One of my coaches, he told me this. He's like, it's, 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 it's. Well, I ain't even going to tell, I ain't even going to say all the secrets, man, everything, what he told me and stuff. But basically, man, it's a lot of fighters who uh, fold under pressure. And I'm one of them fighters that don't fold under pressure. You know, pressure pressure busts pipes, but it make diamonds. And, and like I said, I'm that diamond. So when I'm in front of the fans, it's, 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 it's like, man, it's like I'm about to, it's like I'm in an all-star game, man, you know? Yeah. And I'm playing basketball. This is this is what I do. This is what I love to do. Like mentally I can't be broken. I'm bulletproof. So when I'm in front of the fans, it's like, hey, I'd have turned into Superman, man. We got we got Clark Kent. Now I turned into Superman. 
Uh, so, 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 you, so you're looking forward to get in front of the big arena, the T-Mobiles, the Vegas, is wherever Definitely, the Definitely, man. Definitely. Yeah. You know, they already know. They already know I'm the apex predator. They know I'm the <laughs> apex predator. I done showed I was the apex predator. I done claimed I was the apex predator before I even stepped foot in the apex. I said I was the apex predator. So after <clears> I went in there and I did what I had to do, I said I was the apex predator. Now they know I'm the apex predator. And I done got some historic moments in the apex. Now I'm trying to get some historic moments in MGM or uh, Madison Square Garden, yeah. T-Mobile Arena, uh, Barclays. You know, I'm trying to uh, really get my name out there and and make history. I'm trying to be a part of history, build my legacy up now. I, I, when you said that, you know what I visualized? Um, you know how the UFC will show those top views um, of a KO, like uh, the Francis Ngannou Stipe? I envision yeah. you. You the top view um, of the arena shooting down a picture. You standing over your opponent and him being out cold with all the fans mm -hmm. in the crowd. Yeah, I'm That's sure what I see. need right there. Ah, yeah, good thirty, forty thousand people cheering chaos. Come on That's now, come on now. That's what I'm talking now, about. Now and then, that's another thing. And then when I when I when I knock somebody out or stop somebody in front of the crowd, you know how when you in front of the crowd, you got your name right there in there, and it say like, oh, hey. Chaos Williams on on Instagram or Twitter. And this is thirty forty thousand people right there. Shoot, you probably got like ten thousand of them adding you right then and there because they just pulling their phone out. That's right. It's a difference when is a difference when you on the phone when you on the phone watching the fights or, or at the TV watching the fights. Like you just is going too fast. It's, you That's know. Right. So that that social media, um, um, like Kamzat, his last fight when he picked up. Ling Wing Ling and did his thing. I think he went up like almost eight hundred thousand followers on Instagram just for that one yeah, that's fight. Crazy. Money, that's right? Crazy. Money. That's, it is money, though. That's what it's about. Mm -hmm. Followers it's about. And, and all that is is a currency. Yeah, that's the type of world we live in, man. You know, social media, reality TV world. You know all that. You yeah. know, this is this is. Well, let me. I'm gonna pull up your Instagram so we can give you a quick shout out real quick. Okay. Yeah, we need that. Uh, and we'll we'll get to you. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna pull it up right there. There we go, guys. It's let me see. I got Chaos Williams, and it is at. Oh yeah, Chaos got some pop up. A, and she's at ninety two seven. We're gonna see get K with Chaos K H A O S Williams, all one word. Y'all see? He's at ninety two seven. Go ahead, add me. Adam, we're gonna yeah, get him up to hundred thousand. Let's go. Give me up to 100,000, y'all. Let's go. God first. UFC, strive to be a UFC champion. Real yes, estate invest. Yes, sir. That's it. Looking good, working hard. Anything else you want to add? Anything you want to say thank you to anybody? Uh, appreciate it, man. Nothing? Well, I appreciate your time. Yeah, man. Uh, I, I'm uh, yeah, man. Let me, let me, let me little, make a little shout out real quick. You can hear me? Yes, sir. All uh, right, yeah, let me make a little shout-out real quick. You know, shout-out to everybody that believe in me, that's that's rocking with me for the long haul. You know, we're going to get that belt one day. God first, shout-out Dana White, shout-out to UFC, shout-out my team, Iridium Sports. Uh, shout-out my team, Mercilago. You know, shout-out Detroit versus everybody. Uh, Red Diamond Real Estate, AAA Real Estate. Uh, shoot. Just everybody, man. Appreciate y'all. We appreciate you. And we're, we're coming live from Kill Cliff TV, Brink Studio. And this is Chaos Williams. And he's coming next year for another Highlight Real KO. Thanks for your time, champ. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, both please subscribe to Kill Cliff TV.